Earlier this year, the first 2016 presidential debate occurred between Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton and Republican candidate Donald Trump. In celebration of that event, I recently developed love for my microjournalism outlet Twitter, and I decided to follow and live tweet the event as it occurred. Minutes before the debate began, Hillary Clinton posted the picture seen here. As a member of younger generations, I couldn't help but laugh upon seeing this. 68-year-old Hillary Clinton posing herself, leaning against the walls, arms crossed with sunglasses on in a profile view. My first impression when I saw this was, what on earth was she thinking? Quickly after seeing this, I went ahead and put my own spin on the image. I was trying to spit out at least one tweet every two minutes or so to keep up with the debate. Obviously, this image and caption is satirical, however, this sarcastic response may make some viewers look at the original image a little closer. According to Sturkin and Cartwright, we live in cultures that are increasingly permeated by visual images with a variety of purposes and intended effects. Hillary Clinton and her staff had clear intended effects with her Twitter update before the debate. I believe it was her intention to appeal to younger audiences like myself. Although Clinton has been receiving quite a lot of backlash from younger generations, particularly within the election year, it was not clear whether or not she had been really receiving it. She has been criticized for trying a little too hard to appeal to the younger generation with the uninformed use of memes, popular dance moves, and appearances on popular young adult comedy talk shows. It is my opinion, however, that Hillary Clinton and her team has indeed taken this note of criticism and rolled with it. In this photo, she appears to look young, hip, and stylish. However, she manages to give off a comedic vibe to the viewer through the use of irony. We do not see her in this photo wearing her typical pantsuits, but rather a sharp button-down, long sleeve shirt, and a pair of sunglasses. In addition, she's leaning up against a wall, looking out into the distance, almost as if it's her high school senior photo. Personally, after looking at this and thinking about it for a while, I see someone who is appealing to the younger generation, and despite the recent backlash, has successfully managed to turn it around and make something influential about it. There are a few ways to look at this image in the terms of ideology. According to Sturkin and Cartwright, images are an important means through which ideologies are produced and onto which ideologies are projected. This image of Clinton could be used as an attempt to normalize the opinion among American society that she keeps up with the younger generation and is generally a cool person. Additionally, she may be privileging her appeal to the younger generation in an attempt to make herself look like a more relatable candidate than the competition. Both ways, well similar, offer separate perspectives on her pre-debate photo. As far as I can tell, Hillary Clinton has successfully used this photo to appeal to the younger generations. Her generally cool and confident appearance was posted with timeliness on an outlet that is beloved by the younger generation, Twitter. In addition, she seemingly nodded her head at the backlash she was receiving. Clinton makes a valiant effort to maintain her image among criticisms, as we've seen until the end of the presidential race.